The 12-3 Green Bay Packers will wrap up their regular season on the road in Chicago against the Bears, who need to win to get into the playoffs and will likely need their run game to continue firing the way it has been to get it. Oh, Montgomery gets the call and gets the touchdown. David Montgomery has been the centerpiece of Chicago's offense during their late season run. Montgomery last week picking up 95 yards on 23 carries. First down yardage and down the sideline. Montgomery has had 90 plus yards in four of his last five games, and he's hit at over four a carry in five straight. Opening for Montgomery, 10, five, into the end zone. The first of those games he got it going in was against the Packers too. 103 yards on just 11 carries. They open a big hole for Montgomery, a foot race through the secondary. Packers defense has struggled against most run games this year, giving up over four and a half an attempt for the season. Four touchdowns today for Dalvin Cook. What a complete and absolute disaster for the Packer defense. And they gave up over 150 yards on the ground to the Titans on 5.8 yards a carry last week. A ton of room to roam inside the 10. Tannehill all the way. But the pack has been harder to throw on lately. They picked off Ryan Tannehill twice and held him to a rating of just 40.5. Gets it away, picked off. And in their win against the Bears, they picked off Mitch Trubisky twice and held him to a rating under 80. Aggressive call and a shot into double coverage is intercepted. Trubisky threw three TDs in that game too, but two of them were in garbage time. But like Montgomery, he has been playing better since then. Against the Jaguars, he threw for over 250 yards, two TDs, and a rating close to 100. Throws for the end zone, wide open, touchdown, Jimmy Graham. Trubisky has had a rating over 95 in four straight games now, albeit he's had the luxury of facing the Lions, Texans, Vikings, and Jaguars, all teams whose pass defenses rank at the bottom of the league. Trubisky lost it, cut, touchdown, Darnell! But beating Green Bay still always starts with how well you can handle Aaron Rodgers, which the Bears did not do well in their loss to them. Boots left, throws left side of the end zone, touchdown! Rodgers didn't throw for many yards, but four of his passes ended up in the paint, his rating in the 130s. Leaping grab Devontae Adams! And part of the reason Rodgers didn't need to throw for a lot of yards, the Green Bay run game. Jamal Williams picking up 73 yards on 17 carries. William Powers spins and scores! and Aaron Jones going for 90 on his 17 attempts. Again, another sloppy tackle by the Bears. Jones has been great for Green Bay lately. He went for 94 yards on just 10 carries against the Titans last week. And Aaron Jones right now skirting the sideline, stays in bounds. And then there was A.J. Dillon, 124 yards, two TDs on close to six yards a pop. All the way to the end zone goes A.J. Dillon. Chicago's rush D has been solid most games, but they gave up close to five yards a carry to the Jags. Logan Bawali with running room on the right side, inside the 30. Their pass defense, though, was better. They picked off Mike Glennon twice, holding him to a sub-80 passer rating. Pass is intercepted. Picked off by Roquan Smith. But Mike Glennon and Rodgers have little in common outside of playing QB in the NFL, and not even Mother Nature was able to slow Rodgers down. Rodgers will go for the touchdown and does! Rodgers wasn't phased by the snowstorm he played in last week, throwing four TD passes, posting a rating over 125. And Adams dives! Does he get in? He does. Touchdown! And the inclement weather also didn't cool off Devontae Adams. Adams coasting his way to 124 more yards, three more TDs, Adams leading the league in reception touchdowns. And the throw into the end zone is pulled in by Adams for the touchdown! Pack still has a bye to earn, so unfortunately for the Bears, they still have to face Mr. Rogers' rates and all the rest of the pack starters. But pull off the win and they're in, though they can also make it if the Rams beat the Cardinals. You know the drill, your predictions, analysis, comment section, our predictions on the screen. It's coming. Rogers fires, and that is a fantastic catch by Adams. Another one. Left side, walks into the end zone.